Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And then you look at some of the substantial weather systems here the last couple of years. Irene last summer, Hurricane Sandy this past summer, the blizzard last month. So some notable weather systems. Uh, fortunately, the one that's coming through for tomorrow is nothing uh, severe, though we do have some uh, heavy rain on the way. Nothing on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. In fact, it's pretty nice outside right now. Cloudy skies, cool and humid. That high humidity helping to keep the temperatures up. It's well above freezing. We're not dealing with ice or frost or snow. A little bit of fog, though. In fact, perhaps some locally dense fog by early tomorrow morning as the humidity is on the rise. Temperatures now in most spots are in the lower 40s. 41 uh, Newport, Westerly at 42, and here in Providence at 42. And temperatures will stay in that general area for most of the night. Now, there is a, a flood watch in effect for the areas in light green tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, early Wednesday morning. Reason why it's in this area, this is where the heaviest snowpack is located right now. Combination of snow melt and some heavy rain. I'm going to watch local rivers and streams. Does not include Rhode Island, though we will keep an eye on the Blackstone and the Patuxet River and the Pawkatuck River over the next 24 to 36 hours, though flooding at this point is not anticipated. So cloudy skies overhead right now. You see behind me a narrow area of rain associated with a cold front. That is the heavier rain that's headed our way. So this is what it looks like right now. Let's switch over to the future. Now, just take a look at the clock right in here and we'll follow it along overnight tonight. Just kind of cloudy, cool and humid areas of fog forming. Now, tomorrow morning at the 7, 8 o'clock, other than a sprinkle, I really don't see much in the way of rain. Notice the heavier rain is still back off to our west. We'll have some areas of fog though. And then by tomorrow afternoon, certainly later in the day towards tomorrow evening, this inch is closer. This is 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Some heavier rain coincides with the evening commute tomorrow, so allow for some extra travel time. Heavier rain tomorrow night, but by late uh, tomorrow night, certainly by Wednesday, we're back into the drier air. By 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, we've got some sunshine setting up for a decent day. Look at the temperatures, how mild they are overnight tonight. And again, follow the clock. We'll take you through tomorrow morning at around uh, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, looking at in the upper 40s to start the day. And even with the cloud cover and the rain, look how mild it gets in the mid 50s. So no ice or snow this time around. So for this evening and overnight, other than the um, some clouds and areas of fog, no rain at 43. Perhaps a sprinkle, some fog tomorrow morning, 47. Better chances of rain, though, coming up tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, along with very mild temperatures. So and the morning commute overall, other than the fog, it doesn't look too, too bad, but certainly wetter and some big puddles on the roads by tomorrow evening and some of that uh, heavier rain. Better on Wednesday, much cooler, colder Thursday and Friday, but dry, partly cloudy. Next potential storm system on Saturday should be rain and a temperature at around 42 degrees. So kind of spring like tomorrow, very warm or mild. Unfortunately, it does come with some rain instead of sunshine. We'll take it. We'll take it better over snow. <laughs>